we'll try this again and show you how to import audio files. I had a couple of tries on uh, trying to text it to you, but it didn't really work. It's too big of a file, so I'm gonna upload it. So, anyways, you had a file. What's going on? There you go. File uh, import. So, file import. You want uh, audio files because we're importing audio files, right? When you hit that, a box will open up. Uh, you can import multiple files at one time for each song. So, if a song has 10 files, and I'll highlight all 10 files. If you ever have a question about what kind of files they are, it'll be down here. You typically want it to be an audio wave file. This is Windows Media Audio File. I would always normally convert this to a WAV file because um, uh, it's more compatible across the board. So here's the information right here, what kind of file it is, and the format it is. And then if you want to test each file out, you can highlight each one and press the play button and it'll play it for you. Um, when you're ready to import, highlight them all. Uh, you want to have a file system so each song should have its own file folder and uh, keep all the files in each folder in its own for each, for each keep all the files for each song in its own song folder uh, hit OK it'll say convert to working directly directory you want that convert copy to, uh, and copy to project if needed you want that uh, split multiple channel files you don't want that uh, so now hit OK boom Alright, so in, after that, they give you an option for one track or different tracks. You want different tracks. What will happen if you have on one track is it'll put all the files on one single track. So, different tracks. Another thing to, reckon, uh, to remember is that wherever you have this, whatever track you have selected, it's going gonna, it's gonna to import the files below that track. So, if it's in the middle, right here, then. Uh, it'll put it in the middle and you might be looking for it because you're expecting to be at the bottom or at the top so as you see this file right here the last um, not file but the last track is selected channel track track is selected and uh, so when I hit different tracks it'll import them under that see right under there so and that's all you want it to do and it should work out fine um, and that should be it remember keep your files your folder uh, or folders organized for each song and keep them in the same place and don't move them around. If you move them around, uh, you run the risk of causing Cubase not to be able to find them and you'll have to redirect Cubase to find them. So uh, There's also some pretty good videos on YouTube, more professional looking ones and sounding ones. And uh, Steinberg, the actual people that make this program, Cubase, has a bunch of good videos, tutorials on YouTube. So anyways, God bless, gotta go. Hope it helps.